construction boom of the early 1900s led to penalties for excessive smoke violations. Smog alerts began locally in the 90s. Now it's air quality advisories. We changed the name from smog alerts to air quality advisory so that it includes um, particulate matter. By any name, the advisories come out mostly in the summer and mostly warn about higher levels of ozone. Ozone is an irritant to your lungs and so higher concentrations um, people could notice uh, maybe harder to breathe or coughing. Um, so that's why they should limit their outdoor exposure. The national debate over EPA regulations continues, but local agencies carry on with their duties. Our most recent ozone standard of 70 parts per billion was set in 2015 based on effects on public health. So the things that we look for when we call an air quality advisory are um, clear skies, no wind, abundant sunshine, and temperatures at probably 80 degrees and above. As far as recent progress, I'm told the numbers are better now. Here's our pollutant level in 1990. So since 1990 in 2017, which is our most recent year we have complete data for, we have reduced our pollutant levels by 26% here in Southwest Ohio. And that's for ozone? This is for ozone specifically. Despite our recent progress, you still need to help. Next time we have an air quality advisory in effect, try to avoid refueling your car or using an oil-based paint until after 8 p.m., for example. For more tips, visit WLWT.com. For now, reporting in Dubuque Park, Allison Rogers, WLWT News 5.